Hi guys, Dr. Bobby Stryker here with Flow Physique Factory Clinic is in session. Now in the last video, we explained how sweating more does not mean you're burning more fat, okay? In fact, if you see the last video, it was pretty much the opposite. If you can keep cool and prevent sweating and exhaustion, you might be able to actually work out longer, push yourself harder, which will then in turn burn more calories, burn more fat and help you get to your goals faster, okay? But remember, sweating will dehydrate you and will ultimately, you know, exhaust you faster. So I guess it makes sense that if you want to optimize your training and your results, you should minimize sweating, stay cool and ensure good hydration, right? So does that mean you should just guzzle loads of water, like just fill your belly full of water before you work out? Um, not quite. Let me elaborate. Okay, so when you sweat, Yes, you lose water, but you don't lose water by itself. You also lose the salt called sodium. Yeah, you lose sodium from your blood. And if you're doing like prolonged endurance exercise, maybe you're like prepping for a marathon or doing loads of like strenuous cardio, things like that, you can actually lose quite a lot of salt. Okay, and if you keep losing sodium from the blood, and the level drops outside of the normal range, you can develop what's known as exercise-associated hyponatremia. Hyponatremia just means kind of low blood sodium level. Now, like a lot of the things that our body does, there's a very narrow physiological range. So the sodium has to be kept within a narrow range for the body to be able to function. And if your blood sodium level goes outside of that range, if it goes too high or too low, that's when the body can run into problems. So if you drink loads of water, and you're exercising and sweating a lot and you drink loads and loads of water, remember, as you're sweating, you lose salt. So your blood salt levels are already going to be dropping. Then if you guzzle loads of water, drink gallons of water, you're going to dilute what salt you still have in your blood, which is going to kind of artificially lower the concentration of sodium in your blood. And that's when things get bad. You kind of end up with what's often referred to as water intoxication. All right. If your sodium concentration gets too low, it can make you confused. It can lead to edema and swelling in the brain. It can make you comatose. And worst case scenario, it can even kill you. So this is pretty serious stuff. And every once in a while, you probably will see in the news, there are instances where like a marathon runner has died because of this, because of hyponatremia, this kind of water intoxication. They drink loads of water because they're trying to compensate for how much water they think they're going to be losing on their run. But in the end, they kind of overdo it and they end up diluting their sodium levels, which leads to severe hyponatremia and then, unfortunately, death. So it can be very serious. You've got to be smart with your hydration. It's not just about drinking loads of water. Um, you've got to be knowledgeable about these kind of processes a little bit can't just drink loads of water and then be done with it. For most people, okay, if you're just doing a normal workout, you're just working out with weights, doing a standard weight training routine, like stuff in our plans or whatever you've seen on YouTube, um, or if you're just doing a standard kind of cardio session, it's probably not really necessary for you to take special precautions. You can probably get away with just drinking normal water and things like that. But if you're working out super hard, maybe you're an endurance athlete um, or you're prepping for a marathon or whatever, then you probably should speak to your coach because there might be specific requirements just for yourself. Now, loose guiding principles are as follows. Number one, first point, drink electrolyte drinks, yeah? Not just plain water. Remember, if you're sweating, uh, you're losing both salt and water. So if you're just replacing the water, what happens? You dilute your blood salt concentration, you dilute the sodium. So when you rehydrate, you need to replace not just the water, you need to replace the salt, the electrolytes too. So that's why these kind of 
sports electrolyte drinks and stuff like that that can be uh, they can be very useful so that's what you should do if you're an endurance athlete you're training for long periods of cardio you're sweating profusely then it makes more sense you've got to be mindful of what kind of fluid you're using to rehydrate with okay an electrolyte drink would be best number two second point you can't again even if you're taking an electrolyte drink you don't want to overdo it you should try to match how much fluid you drink to how much fluid you lose. So how do you do that? Well, if you're gonna be pedantic, I'll give you some tips. Now, provided you're not pooping, peeing, or eating, or drinking during your workout, if you weigh yourself before and after your workout, any weight loss during that session should be due to sweating, should be due to fluid loss, okay? So if you do this, if you measure your weight before and after your training, and maybe you do this for a few sessions, and remember during those training sessions, you don't eat, you don't drink, you don't pee or poop, the weight loss during your training sessions should be due to water loss from sweating, okay? Do this for a few sessions, get the average of those. The amount of weight lost is how much you should aim to drink during your training sessions, okay? So if you find that actually you're not losing any weight during your training sessions, uh, during your workouts and stuff, then chances are you're not really losing a lot of water and hence you're probably not losing a lot of salt. So you probably don't need to worry about hyponatremia, dehydration, all this other stuff. Um, but if you are doing you know, prolonged training, prolonged cardio, this is how you can kind of be a little bit smarter with your hydration, yeah? Remember, you want to stay cool, yeah, you want to minimize sweating, you want to hydrate intelligently with electrolytes, and then you're kind of good to go. So if you find that during your training you've lost maybe 250 grams or um, half a kilogram of weight, chances are you've lost 250 grams or half a kilogram of fluids. So you'll probably need to drink half a kilogram of fluids, which means half a liter. So that's how you can be a bit more savvy with your hydration strategy. Okay, guys, so there you go. It's pretty short and sweet. Again, that's how we always like to keep it at Flow Physique Factory, keep it useful. It's time for you to go and crush those goals. And as usual, if you found this video as useful, please like and subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications so you can catch our videos as soon as they come out. And let us know what you think. Drop us a comment. And of course, do follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and our social media channels where we post even more content, stuff that you might not see here. So if you want to be your all-rounded mega athlete, this is a year you're going to make a difference follow us everywhere you can always get useful information and we hope to see you all very very soon take care we'll see you in the next video guys do not be late for your appointments laters bye